Hey there, I am Brooke. Oh, I messed up again. <laughs> hey there, welcome to my channel. I am Brooke, and if you are new here, interesting choice. It is actually a whole different day from when I recorded that intro because that video was a fail. Today, am I the asshole? <laughs> Let's go. My husband's father passed away recently. He grew up on a large farm in Kansas and him and his mother inherited the farm. My husband, John, 24 male, and I, 21 female, met while he was living in New Orleans, attending Tulane on athletic sponsorship, scholarship, and I was working as a waitress. We fell in love and he proposed quickly. We married a few months ago and I am currently three months pregnant. We've been living in New Orleans, but since his father's passing, his mother needs help with the farm and he suggests that we move there and it would be better for the child to be raised on the farm anyway. I didn't really want to do that, but agreed as I knew how much it meant to him. When we got there, I was surprised how big and isolated the farm was. My husband and I share one car and his mother has another. I asked to take the car the other day to go to town and look for jobs, but he sat me down and told me it wouldn't be very practical for me to have a job at the moment because we only have two cars for three people and they can't spare one for me to take eight hours a day and can't drive me to and from work when there's so much to be done on the farm. I wasn't very happy about that, but it made sense. So I looked for some jobs online while we were eating dinner. I started the subject again, saying, I think I will look for some work from home jobs, but I will need stable internet connection and asked if there was any way we can change providers as it's a bit slow. He told me all work from home jobs are a scam. He doesn't want me falling into a trap that he needs the laptop available at all times to communicate with his customers. I was devastated but didn't want to argue and I understand that his work is currently supporting all of us, including his mother. We had a small family gathering and his sister and sister-in-law asked me why I didn't want to be a stay-at-home mom. I explained them everything and they told me I should think of my family first, that all kids in his family are raised by stay-at-home moms and I should just go with it and everyone would be happier. I said that I would get bored and I need a job to help supporting us, but they kept telling me that I should listen to my husband. When everyone left, John came to our bedroom and we had our first massive argument. He told me that I embarrassed him in front of his family. He told me that he can't believe how heartless I am and that I clearly don't care enough for our baby to stay home and raise him. He called me an asshole and told me that it's best if I slept in the guest room for a few nights. He hasn't spoken to me since and his mother told me I hurt him and all of them by refusing to carry on the family tradition of being a stay-at-home mom and that I am bringing shame on him, showing that he can't support his family. And I am torn. I thought I knew what I wanted, but everyone is telling me otherwise, and my head is a mess. Am I really the asshole for wanting to find a job? Is it really that wrong of me? I thought I was right, but now I am doubting myself. I mean, it sounds to me like he moved you out to the farm so that you would be isolated from everyone and have to do things his way. Am I just negative? I don't know. That's what, that's what I think though. I'm curious what other people thought about it. Let us see. I don't think you're the asshole at all. Okay, wait a second. The original poster has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the asshole. And she said, I think I might be the asshole because I want to find a job despite our situation and despite my hubby wanting me to be a stay-at-home mom. I might be an asshole because I don't want to stay with our kid 24 seven. You're not the asshole. First comment, this is screamy isolation tactics. Yes, I agree. <laughs> and then the argument and punishment for having her own opinion on what being a stay at home mom would feel like specifically for her. Oh my God, I'd be telling him to forget the guest bedroom. I'll stay with a friend. Right. <laughs> he kicked her out of the bedroom. That's crazy. I can't believe that. That's wild. My page is stuck. Am I the asshole for calling off my son's camping trip after he ruined a painting that I drew for my wife? Wait, is it a painting or a drawing? English is not their first language. Just pointing that out because they did. I am male, 39 married. My wife is female, 36, four months ago. I have a son named Elijah, age 16. He and my wife have this tension between that started right after she moved in with us. He complains about how she enters his room all the time and invading his privacy and touching his stuff but my wife says she's just cleaning it for him. He also complains from being forced to eat what she cooks, but my wife says she's just trying to get him to step away from unhealthy fast food and snacks and get used to healthy homemade meals. The fighting became constant even before the wedding. Then at the wedding, he complained about being excluded from pictures and food he wanted to have, but my wife said she had nothing to do with it and that Elijah was looking for something to hold over her head. Now, since we're in summer break, he has plenty of free time. I would signed him up for a two week camping trip and paid for everything. He was supposed to go next week, but a couple of days ago, something happened. Dun, dun, dun. It was my wife's birthday. As a gift, I drew a painting for her and gave it to her during dinner. 
Elijah started, Elijah, I'm sorry, Elijah started laughing for no reason, which made my wife annoyed. She told him he wasn't allowed to watch a movie later that night and sent him to his room. He wasn't happy. He threw a temper tantrum, and he said he didn't do anything to deserve a punishment. Then in the morning, my wife woke me up, yelling, saying the painting I gave her was destroyed with car oil. She kept saying Elijah did it. I had him come out of his room, and he admitted that he had ruined it to get back at her for punishing him the night before. I lost my temper with him and then punished him by canceling his trip and taking the money back. He threw another tantrum, saying he had he had had... He had to do it after she punished him for no reason, and that it wasn't fair since I promised, but I said it was final. He started crying and called his aunt as a way to pressure me into backing out of the decision, but I refused. <laughs> if there was all this tension before you even married her, I would think that maybe postponing the wedding until you got that figured out might have been a smarter idea. I am one for involving the kids in big decisions like that, if they are fully involved if that makes sense. Like, 16 is pretty old. OP has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the asshole. I might be the asshole for my decision to cancel his trip, seeing how much he's looking forward to it. I mean, the first comment says, you are the asshole. Your son has been telling you for years that your wife is overstepping, being intrusive, violating his privacy, and making him feel excluded from the family, and you did not one damn thing to help him. It's true. Instead, you took the side of the person who is treating him like shit every single time. You're an absolutely garbage father, and your son is going to dump you out of his life the minute he turns 18. Ooh, that's harsh. <laughs> My wife said was repeated several times, is OP even talking to his kid or just listening to his wife? Yeah, I think, I think Reddit says you're the asshole. <laughs> true. I think that you should have worked it out before you got married. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Am I the asshole for throwing a gender reveal party for my son in the same week as my sister's baby shower? I'm a 47-year-old single dad of a 19-year-old young man who was born as a female. We lost his mom to COVID in the first wave. He came out to us as trans three years ago and completed his transition just a few weeks ago. My sister is pregnant with her fifth child and is doing a baby shower gender reveal next weekend. The whole family is invited. Her baby is due at the end of July. I am throwing my son a gender reveal party this Thursday. He always wanted one ever since he came out, and now that he is officially a man, we are finally throwing one. The whole family is invited, though some won't come because they don't approve. We sent out invitations two months ago. My sister told me she'll see about coming because she is heavily pregnant, and I put her down for a maybe. Yesterday, she called me fuming, saying that a lot of the family members are actually coming to my son's party, and since this is his first family thing since COVID, this will be the first big party and then her baby shower will just be an afterthought. I told her I'm not moving my son's party because everyone will still attend her baby shower on the weekend. She said I'm faking a gender reveal party and that I told her that's ridiculous. She said it won't even be a proper gender reveal because he's not a baby. Then I just said that she can either come or not, her choice, but I'm not moving the date. You are not the asshole. You are a good dad. Do what you're doing. You're doing great. <laughs> OP has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the asshole, which they are not. Maybe I'm an asshole because she literally can't move her party to a later date now since she'll give birth in approximately two weeks and is obviously a huge deal for her. <laughs> it's her fifth kid though. Like I have five kids and I had one baby shower and zero gender reveals. I posted my ultrasound on Facebook and said, it's a girl, five times. I don't, I don't think you're the asshole. I think it's really sad that she's downplaying the importance of your son's gender reveal. I think that should definitely take precedence and I think that she's being very very selfish but we'll see what we'll see what the others have to say so she's mad that her fifth baby shower isn't going to be the first big family party post covid a fifth baby shower wouldn't even happen in my family they already have all the stuff that's just kind of gift grabbing at that point not the asshole your sister is acting entitled agreed maybe she's finally going to get that snoo or whatever the 1500 bassinet thing is called <laughs> yeah reddit said you are not the asshole you do what you're doing, you're doing great. Keep it up. The world needs more fathers like you. Yay! One more? You wanna do one more? I have time for one more. Time like I'm going somewhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just trying to keep my videos short because y'all only sit for a minute and a half of them anyway. <laughs> That's what YouTube tells me. <laughs> it's cool. Am I the asshole for telling my wife my job has to come before hers? Background. Me, 35 male, my wife, 34 female, and our two kids, three and five, live in, I don't know what that says. 
Volca City. I make about five times as much as my wife does, so we do pretty well. If my income were the same as my wife's, we would not be able to afford to live in our city. My job is pretty low stress, about 35-ish hours a week, with the only requirement that I be on call for one week out of each month. Normally nothing ever happens, so I do my usual routine with the understanding that with my wife that if I am needed, I will drop whatever we are doing and work until the work is resolved. This only ever happens once every quarter and only lasts a few hours. My wife, on the other hand, has a much more stressful job. Her boss is incredibly demanding and often demands random and insane things just as a power play with her subordinates. She usually works about 45 to 50 hours a week. As a result, I take care of most of the home stuff, drop off, pick up the kids from daycare, cook meals, and generally help keep the house clean. The am I the asshole incident. It was an on-call week after work hours when my wife got a text from her boss about fulfilling an emergency request for a client. My wife complained to me that this request really could wait until tomorrow, but she would rather get it done so she doesn't have to listen to her boss bitch at her in the morning if it is not done. I had no problem with it, but I reminded her that I'm on call, so I'm might need to switch with her if something came up. She made a grunt of acknowledgement, but nothing beyond that. About two hours later, I get an all-hands call to immediately come into the office. Normally, I can resolve issues remotely, but we had an issue that prevented us from remoting in. I rush upstairs and told my wife that I had to leave only for her to turn around and say, sorry, but my issue came up first. You are going to have to tell your work you can't. I was taken aback and told her that no, this issue isn't something I can skip for anything short of I am physically in the hospital and can't come in. She got increasingly angry and started ranting at me, but I told her I didn't have time for this and that I am leaving. When I get back, we can discuss this. She started crying, but I had no more time, so I left for the office. On the way, she called me to continue the argument, and in the heat of the moment, I said, look, I respect that you put a lot of time and energy into your work, but we cannot afford our house or lifestyle without my job. So when push comes to shove, my job has to come first, otherwise we are going to be on the streets. She hung up on me after that. When I got home about three hours later, around 11 p.m., the kids were crashed out on the living room couch with several bowls of cereal spilled around them. I went upstairs and my wife was locked in the bedroom and refused to talk. In the morning, I found out from the kids that she had spent the night crying in her room and didn't feed them dinner or tuck them in, so they made cereal and had a sleepover in the living room. <laughs> um... I don't know what to say. <laughs> I've been in a situation of feeling disrespected by my husband's work schedule, for sure. And I have felt that he put his work before us as in our family a lot. But I do so with the understanding that we definitely, definitely need his job. <laughs> and I would never insinuate that his job is anything less than that. The OP has offered the following explanation why they think they might be the asshole. One, telling my wife my job came before hers, and two, it might be an asshole thing to view my work like this. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I say not the asshole. Let's see what the comments have to say. Not the asshole, and her neglecting to feed your children should be a red flag, yes. Kids should not starve because you're in an argument. That's crazy. Kids shouldn't have to fend for themselves because their mom is having a meltdown. Yeah, not the asshole. And your wife should probably seek mental help because that behavior will get your kids taken away. <laughs> that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. Please leave a comment below. Tell me if you want me to make more like this or if you don't want me to make more like this. And please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Peace. Bye.